How's it going? As I said earlier, when I made the Barry Bonds video, um, my mic, sometimes it unplugs itself, and I need to pay attention to that, and definitely have to look out for that. Uh, today in the episode, as we said, we're getting closer to September call-ups, which is on the 1st of September, and the rosters will expand, and we have some interesting people that we could call up, but um, I don't know if I went over who I traded for again. I would, over it quickly and briefly. Um, Laird Gabriel Gonzalez and Fuller short for Hoskins. They were desperate for first base help. But he was traded straight up for, for Donovan for Castro. And Castro had four years left on his contract. Which made him very appealing to the Cardinals. Who needed a guy that could hit left-handers. And give Gorman days off. And Donovan a left-hander himself wasn't much of an option. We got... Mike Sanino for Jock Peterson and Montero. So we sent Peterson back. We got Everson Pereira for Yonathan Daza and Justin Lawrence, a guy they were interested in already. And we could have got Pereira for free a couple of months ago, but I didn't think I was going to be interested in him. But the way Yonathan Daza has been performing, which has been kind of lackluster at best to describe, he wasn't getting the runs that you'd want as a leadoff guy. He doesn't have that speed. And... And you just have to. Wow, and they put Jason Dominguez back down and they allow Jonathan Dawson. He's hitting pretty well in Yankee Stadium. Almost back up to 300. He wasn't getting the runs for us the way we wanted him to, and he just kind of was a guy that played innings for us when we were bad. And he did have a decent year on base, but his slugging was subpar and he brought a good war because he was a solid defender but he was never a great defender and was a free agent to be I think we made the right move getting off of him and Pereira is a guy that was never going to make it on the Yankees he was stranded and giving him an opportunity to play here it's up to a 73 now he's seeing some good development and while before I started started this episode, I went and I messed with some of my training. I usually go with hitting coach and pitching coach sessions, work on your vision and whatnot. And that's another one I got to change. I got to change Smith. He's already got great vision. He's not going to get any better. You want to see him be a better contact guy. And that's what I've been going around doing. I've Strange Andrew Vaughn's to the weight room because I had it on batting cages and his contact is in the 90s now. I think it's time for Vaughn to get in the weight room and put on some muscle. We still have Corey Chavez with his low durability. He's plus five so far this year and just want to continue to see that grow to about the 60 overall mark before I even think about changing it to something else. We got... Ruhan in the cages. We moved Toglia to the weight room. We want him to be more of a power bat. We understand that Toglia is not going to have the best vision. And he does provide power usually. And at the bottom of that order, I want him to be a good at bat. And we put Tavar in the cages a couple episodes ago. Put Chavez into the weight room because he needs to work on that if he wants to make it to the majors and be a, a, a player for us. He's got tremendous vision, clutch, and think that'll build we just need to see that hitting get better now and the contact looks pretty good it's almost to the 70s it's not bad at all we moved Benny Montgomery to the batting cages because he was kind of struggling to develop his vision and stuff so we're gonna let him become more contact and hopefully that stuff comes along with it we also moved Zach Veen is in the weight room he's been in it all year Move David Park to the weight room because his vision, discipline, and clutch is already super amazing. And it's not going to get much better. I want him to be able to hit for power. And maybe he could be a DH or a bench batter or someone clutch in the future. A pinch runner. He's, he's a tremendous skill set. He's just not a great defender. But he's got speed. He can hit. He's a clutch. You want the guy in your lineup to hit. And he could be that for us in the future. We have to work on that power. And as you can see, we're 
three games back of the San Diego Padres. And if you go to the season standings, we're three games back of the wild card because the Padres hold the final wild card spot. And another team that we play soon, the Brewers, hold another wild card spot. So all these games coming up are very important. But we're going to jump into the minor leagues and we're going to go with our favorite prospect of mine, DeAndre Amos, the pitcher. And we want to see how he performs these past these last couple games leading up to September. If he can be a guy that we call up and make one of our starting pitchers of the future. And he is only 20 years old. He provides tremendous skills. He hit per nine is not at 70 now. I don't understand what's up with that. I don't know, but he's been very good for us. 18 quality starts out of 25. Just not getting the wins you want to see. And maybe with the Major League team, we'll see more wins. Without Bruhan has struggled. We're going to continue to throw him out here. He's new. Drew Gilbert, a guy, who, and Ryan Clifford, both Mets now. But on a Space Cowboys here because we started this weeks ago before the trade deadline. Clifford and... Drew Gilbert, a guy's traded for Justin Verlander, and they paid a high price for Verlander. Of course, the Mets paid for his contract, but they owe Verlander a spot on their roster next year, and who's to say it's going to be good next year? It will work for them this year, and they're trying to win again, so that's why you make a move like that, but trading Drew Gilbert and the other guy, if I forgot his name, it's just its a tough one. Forrest Whitley, the pitcher, or the Space Cowboys. And we're not going to swing the bat. We're here for Three. something else. That's ball four. <coughs> He's out. Oregon scores a run. And Amos up against Drew we Gilbert. And Gilbert, a 75 overall. He's Over getting closer Space to being Cowboys. a major league player himself. The center, the center fielder, fielder, Drew. Gilbert. Gotta get used to Amos's slow delivery. I'm just pitching with Carter Price, and his is so quick. It's just such different. You gotta hey. like it, though. The disparities and the differences. Gotta work on getting the splitter timing down, and there's a decent one. Misses the zone. DeAndre Amos trying to get ahead again. Down to one of the count. Up in the air to Benny Montgomery. And we're not going to play in the 500 foot wall stadium, so hopefully an inside the park home run doesn't ruin DeAndre Ames' game like the last episode. Matthew Barefoot only hitting 213, and he's the focus of the batting order. You got Rugnet Odor, who's hit home runs against me in the past, and definitely going to be mindful of him when we're out here. Hey! Strike one, the Pedro Leon. DeAndre Amos. Aye. Good no fastball in there, 97. He can hit 98, and that's what makes him so intriguing. He is a flamethrower. That's a ball. And it's not going to be like going against the Shimon Gilmore. You're going to get all of what Amos got in his body, and he's going to throw it hard. And there's a strikeout to Pedro Leon. The only thing that I don't want to do when I call up Amos, if I did, is to make him nope. not rookie eligible. I think Amos could win the rookie of the year next year, and I think he has a great chance. And if I was so happen to call DeAndre Amos, he would have a Aye. innings limit. He would not ball, pitch more than, I believe, 55 innings. I would make sure of it. Unless we were to One make ball, the playoffs. Two strikes. I don't know if that counts for your rookie eligibility or not. I hope not. Ball two. But if we were so happy to make the playoffs, I would love to have Amos there and ready to go. And if he plays well, he would definitely be on the roster if we were so happy to make it. But, you know, I don't plan on making the playoffs yet. We still have a long three, way to go and we have a couple of games back to win. And can't count our blessings Leading too soon. For the Space Cowboys. Rugnet Odor, a the tough out. Rugnet Odor. 
he knows the strike zone well and he doesn't offer there. One or more. swinging Two and strength. missing. Kind of sucks about me not having my 40 man roster completely filled out. Is I have guys that all ones that count. I don't, um, like if I sign a guy, he's gonna be on my 40 man roster all most one. of the time, and that's his unfortunate part of it. I would have loved if Everson Pereira would have been able to have been traded to my team and oh, been a triple layer the rest of the year. I didn't want to have the force Pereira to play yet, but, you know, why not see what we can get out of him if we're rebuilding. Up to Veen, and Veen can't get it at the wall. Veen playing left field, and no. Supposed to be right fielder. His arm isn't strong enough for right field, and I think Tristan Peters suits it well. And I think it just makes more sense for the defense to have it how it is. Ball one. Tyler Ball one, Whitaker. No Thought about it. Amos goes to his new pitch to slider Two and strike. outside the zone. Three. Strike free looking. 96 high inside. Amos will pitch on the inside of the plate against hitters. He's not afraid. If you're a right-hander, you expect to see 97 mile per hour eaters Eight. high in the zone and in the strike zone, in the strike zone, and barefoot 0 for 2 the last game, 0 for 4 the last game with two strikeouts. One ball, two strikes. Got him to go on the changeup, DeAndre Amos. And here is Jess Kendrick. Up to Montgomery. Ball. Thought about it. Aye. Smashes it and Tucker making the play. Nova out. Oh, he's out. Now batting center fielder Drew Gilbert. Drew Gilbert back up. Yeah. Starting with that first pitch fastball. What a strike. He brought it there. Gilbert, Only strike two. two. Ball. Base hit for Gilbert. And Amos going against Leon. Hangs the change up in the zone. Oh, and one. Not the best spot for it. And over Bruhan's head, it's trouble. Montgomery gets it in. It's going home. 
the throw is terrible, and Montgomery can't get it in in time. and just gives up a double. Ball, that jumps Amos. Up. Have to see what he ball, does when he gets right. in trouble. Ball, that's upstairs. Clifford. Amos to Morales. He's, He's out. out. Pedro Leon ties the game with a double. Three. You're out. Here's Ordor. Ball one. Hey. Strike two. Splitter on the hands. Down the line to Horgan. Struck out or door with a high fastball. 96 from Amos. Ball one. Inside on the lefty. Counts one and oh. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. Aye. Amos in there for a strike. Base hit. Good hit from Didern. Sitting on that inside fastball. Aye. And falling over it too much. Aye. Strike two slider. Struck him out with the slider. Here's barefoot. Slider foul. Down the Two. middle, change up. That's a ball. Tried old reliable. Struck him out with the slider. And Amos quickly recovers Leave. for multiple strikeouts. Leave. Three. Ow. Ow. Jess Kendrick. Inside, strike one. Oh, and the one that hung. Great pitch to hit for Jess Kendrick there. That's a ball. One ball, two strikes. Ball, that pitch is out. And Veen makes the play for Amos. Nova. And that's a base hit. Peters can't get it. Nope. Starts him high again. Hey. 
Change up at the knees. One and one. Again the one change ball, up. Two strikes. Ball, Thought there. about it. Gilbert too disciplined. Base hit past Tucker. Two on for Amos now to deal with. Ball. Leon, double play ball. Out. Oh. Gets him out. Amos out of the jam. Just like that. The third oh, base George. is number eight. Morales. George Morales. Nope, that's a ball. Ball, oh, that's just out. about swinging there, and he almost got us. Two one gets it by George there. Time. Strike two, two, two to yeah. George. George grounds it softly. Fielder's choice. Out. All ones the count. Ryan Clifford swings at strike one. And Tucker makes that play. Out. Ball. I got one ball, one strike. Eight, two. One ball, two strikes. Nope. Two balls, two strikes. Aye. Struck him out. Inside fastball door, door and he's stunned. Amos just attacked him with it. Ball one. Hung it, and Veen had to chase it down. Not the best pitch from Amos. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. He's out. You're out. Ow. Wants it. Oh, two is the count. Slow go or pass Tucker. The right fielder, number 21, Matthew Barefoot. Ah. 
and they're on barefoot. Got a good piece of that one. Well. Oh, and they don't call it a strike. Two, two, the count. Nasty pitch, but he fouls it off. He's on his fastball. Struck him out with the slider. Took some of it off of it, and barefoot the goes catcher, down again. What he is. Jazz. Kendrick. He's going, he's going. Oh, and Romo, one. no chance. No, he's in that set. Base hit, and it's going to score him. No, he didn't get a good jump. He's not going to go home. Montgomery got it there. Amos in trouble. Hey! Strike one. All one's the count. Hey! Strike two, a high one called strike. Oh, and that's karma. A base hit down the line. They take the lead. Dean will throw him out with ease. No, How is he safe, man? That is not fair at all. <laughs> Amos will come out of the game for Bernardo Mejia. Let's give him a go. Your attention, please. Now, now pitching, pitching for Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Number 15, Bernardo Mejia. That's a ball. He fouls off that fastball. Base hit. That one is out. He tagged him. He's gone. That should have been the second out of the inning and no run. Three runs given up for Amos again at the end. Oh, and one. Ball, that's inside. Strike. One ball. Two. Two strikes. Mahia. Right down the middle, he hung it. Your attention, please. Now pitching for. Three! Three! Out! Three! Three! Now pitching for the Space Cowboys. Number 39. There's Horgan against the lefty. He specializes hitting those guys. Ball one. Almost a strike. Good sinker ball. Just missed the zone. Horgan taps it. Out. He's out. Time is out. Go to our Ben Thompson, Jose Mendoza. Let's give him a try. Pinch hitting for Albuquerque. Haven't used Number Jose 19. in a while. Jose has a nice swing Mendoza. and puts it in the air, but out. Like Mendoza swing a lot. He just has a lot of other stuff to work on. One oh. George Morales. Up in the air, and Morales looks like he needs to be in double A. Space Cowboys win. Amos gives up three runs again. Fans are fun. And strikeout performance in six and a third. No hitting on the other side. Up 
four to three. McCarthy with a hidden streak. Do we want to play? So for two, going against Zach Kent. Pereira, home run. Uh, we only have two hits and we're up four to nothing. That's interesting. Let's just simulate, and the Rockies do beat the Pirates. Another win for us. What's this at? 69 and 64. Very happy with that one. Sia Gray gets to start against Robbie Ray. And let's actually look and see how good did our buddy Shimon Gilmore gave up three runs, unfortunate, but still not the worst. And Riley Pint gets the hold. Yonathan Lysaga, another save. Number 31 on the year, so he's actually becoming very dominant here at the end of the year. Our pitching has definitely been good. In the key spots, at least, and we've actually gotten some good hitting here, finally. It's taken a while. This wild card race is just tough. We're only a half game back of the Pirates, but we still need to continue to win and catch one of these Dodgers, Brewers, or Padres. September call-ups are going to be very important. Gotta make sure you get the right guy up there. I think we're going to hop into some double-A action here. Why not? Ricky Nelson pitching, and let's go have a look at what happens down here. We might not hit too much. We might just be a little bit more of the quick manage game, but Gabriel Gonzalez still doing Gabriel Gonzalez things. I love to see it. Love to see Corey doing good and a hot streak. Gabriel Gonzalez, Adele Amador, in a cold spell. And her night, Art Alonzo doing what Alonzo does, 289. What is this, a left hander? Ooh, so this is actually a favorable game for our lineup. We hit left handed pitching very well. Let's get some swings in on the lefty. The right fielder. Emil Sixto. Par. 18 year old pitcher. With a lot of promise. All ones the count. Park leading off here. Taps it. Park can he beat it out with his speed? And Ingram He's out. just got him. Good strong for Johnny second. Ingram. The left fielder. <laughs> Here's Eduardo Chavez. Puts it in the air and
batting third, the center fielder, Paul Schultz. Out. Leading off for some. Ow! Ow! He say first base. You're out. The number one prospect in baseball against Emil Sexto. It's Corey Chavez. High inside. Sexto pitching a good game so far. Only five pitches now. Let's see what Chavez can do. That's a ball. He looks like a thrower more than a I pitcher. One ball, one strike. So we might want to use that to our advantage. Outside one corner. Ball, That's a good pitcher's strike. pitch there. High inside and protecting on one and two. High fastball gets Corey Chavez to go. Gabriel Gonzalez now. And if you walk Corey Chavez, you gotta face Gonzalez, and <laughs> that doesn't sound fun at all. None well, of these guys I don't think I'd want to pitch against because they all are very good down here at Double A. This is the best team in our organization by far. It's not even a one question. Ball, two strikes. You have to wonder how all these people are going to be on the same team one day. We might have to trade some of these guys off and you know, maybe kick the can down the road with some younger prospects and maybe, I don't know. You have to wonder what you're going to do, though. I don't think it's possible for everyone to make the team, though. There's only 26 people that can play, and you know, there's a lot of talent down here. Out. It's going to take a special player to break through and make that team. Leading, Leading off, off for Somerset. Somerset. Ow! He's out! Three! 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 Ow! You're out! Single brings him home, and He's Corey out. Chavez flies Ow. out. Ow. You're out. Ow. Three. Ow. He's out. Oh, he doesn't. He's out. Wow, he didn't get the run there. Ow. Here's Eduardo Chavez the left fielder. against Number Sixto. Eduardo. Two runners on base Chavez. and one in scoring position. A double play ball, and Chavez does He's not out. come up clutch. Leading off for Somerset. You're out. He said. Your attention, please. Full four. Take now your break. For the yard goat. Three. Number out. 18. Out. Three. Charlie. He's out. Three. French. And there goes Alonzo Anelos with a solo home run off the lefty. That's impressive. Giving us a chance out. You're out. here in the ninth. I guess now we have to go out here Somerset. and fight. Yanis Gomez. Yo, they Reese. put in a righty Gomez. now. How will we fare? Is it? It is not a base hit. He got too much on it. Eduardo Chavez hit list today. Can he put one on the baseball? He'd bat on ball, and he gets bat on ball, but not enough bat on the ball. It is out. Final out already, and they've two pitches, two outs. Just a good game from Somerset. And three pitches, three outs, it looks to be. And Paul Schultz sneaks a hit on there. And now Corey Chavez now in a good spot here. Man. A Corey chance to walk it off with Chavez. a huge hit here.
High Hold fastball on. gets Chavez, and it seems ah. to be his kryptonite. Or just our kryptonite. Whoa, oh, it's two. super low there. I'm sending Paul Schultz on 0-2. Runner! Misses it, and we would have had a chance to tie it if he would have connected, but just gets him with the curveball. Good pitching from Six though. He pitched almost a complete game, and Ricky Nelson with the loss. Not a bad game for Nelson's sake, but just obviously didn't get the win, and winning matters in everywhere. I'm going to hop into the game, and I'm not going to probably do much. I just want to see how Ken Blair performs, just watching. Not watching, but simming, like quicks managing. I just want to see how what happens to Blair when he pitches. You know, just what's going on? And he gives up a home run to Michael Massey. Ow. And a Three. single. Ow. Three. Another single and You're a double. Out. And I'm thinking I might have to send Blyer back down. Three. He's out. have to get out of this Ball four, soon. take your base. Ow. Ow. Ball four, take your base. He's out. Walk a double play, another walk, a single. Pop up Ow. there. Ow. He's out. That's ball four. Ball Blair four, just, take your base. Oh, yeah. Ball four, take your base. Ow. Yeah, Blair, You're I think, three. is going to have to go back Ow. down three. to double A. He's out. I think it was a little too soon to call him up. Ow. Three. That's ball four. I think Blair would find his way back down to, to Ow. triple to ball double four, A. Ball four, take your base. Three. Got some more three. developing to do. Three. You're out. Four, take Maybe I give base. him one more start? I don't know. Three. Let's just go to the end of the He's game. Out. All right, I just want to see what Blair would do. And they win four to three. Blair gets hit hard and often. Gets up a lot of walks and hits. Ten hits and three innings. So Ken Blair not off to a tremendous double A's, triple A start after he was owning in the double A. He's been amazing there. <laughs> Player doesn't get another game, so I don't think. Do we give Player one more start? He's 0 5. I think I'll give Blair one more chance to win, and if he doesn't win his next start or pitch a pretty good game, I think he's going to have to go back down to double A for the rest of the year and maybe to start an next season because I don't want him to lose what he's gained. He's had a great year in double A, but triple A, 0-5, hit very hard. Not good. Has he had any quality starts? Uh, he's had three quality starts out of five losses so probably not all bad games just head scratching Goes to Arizona and Josiah Gray looks to have gotten carved up. Seven earned. Not what I want to see from Josiah Gray. In a crucial spot. 
Andrew Braun gets a triple. Cool. <laughs> Don't know what to think. And they're up seven to one. They just continue to own us. It's just a team we can't beat. I got to go pitch a game of Garcia. Well, let's you can see. I don't think Graydon Kershaw is going to finish his career with us. I think he's going to go down. I don't think I'm going to let Graydon Kershaw continue to ruin his ERA. Spencer Howard has been amazing, but Kershaw, very bad. Just not bringing value anymore. I wanted to be nice to Kershaw, but I think it's just time to send him back to his AAA roots. I'll wait till September call-ups to do that, I guess, to be respectful. I'll just see what Garcia can do. Garcia gets the win. Three and four. Garcia goes six innings, six hits. We actually beat Arizona. Michael Kolpak, our ace, does his thing. Goes to Arizona again. DeAndre Amos gets the victory. How did he pitch? Give up five earned. That's not a good sign. Jonathan Isaac gets the loss. Looks like he blew the save. That's not what you want to see from your closer. Own save for Eliza. Gives up free runs. That hurts. Everson Pereira is on fire. He's in three forty seven and he's done a great job. again, Shimon Gilmore takes the L and gives up four earned. Astros have caught up Hunter Brown.
My computer already says to maybe call it McCade Brown or a Montgomery or a Veen. We have two spots. I'm actually going to send somebody down. Clayton Kershaw is not going to finish his career here and on, on the major league level. I'm done with his poor performance. To be sent to the Dutchler. Send him on his way to Triple A. Now the next decision is going to be tough. We're going to look for stats. Andre Amos, 22nd, and Whip. That's about 68 walks, but that's 35th. He's pitched the second most innings. Fourth and strikeouts. He's given up 24th most home runs, though, 17. Something you got to be super careful of, I guess. But it's kind of low still. Top 10 in the ERA almost, only by a couple marks. The way Everson Pereira is playing, you know, calling up a Benny Montgomery I don't think would be too beneficial right now. Pereira has been playing absolutely amazing. Newpar has been struggling. I guess if you call up a Montgomery, he would play more. I want Pereira to play more, so I'm going to move him there. He's been very good, and I think he deserves more playing time. Definitely wouldn't mind adding a DH factor to the bench. That would help our team out pretty right now um, against left-handed pitching. And Benny Montgomery could definitely be that guy. And not the best stats for Montgomery. And you know, this decision gets tougher and tougher the more you think about it. And you have to wonder if Montgomery's ready or not. Gonna get called up at the end of the year anyway, so maybe you could try him out and see if he could work as a designated hitter. If Zach Veen wasn't a left handed hitter and he we needed a right handed hitter, then I think it would make my decision easier. I'd call up Zach Veen and not hesitate, but I think Zach Veen is not the guy we need right now. Could also give Jose Mendoza a look. But I don't know if I'd want to add him to the 40-man roster. It's kind of a risky move.
Benny leads our team in hits and runs. The most RBIs as well. The most walks have been taken. Second most strikeouts, but he has the most doubles, the most triples, the most bases. He hasn't grounded in the most double plays. Montgomery is definitely our best war player. The more you look at the numbers, you have to think, because isolated power is something that is worrisome. Now, I'd like to be near 200, but, I mean, he's still working on that bat, but maybe the course field factor can help him out a lot, and the speed definitely provides a lot of stuff that's helpful. It's going to be a crowded outfield if we call Benny Montgomery, I'll tell you what. Now, if you look at Amos, he's pitched the most innings. He has given up the most walks, but he has the second most strikeouts. One of the lowest ERAs. With 100 innings pitched, if you want to go there. His whip is very good. The most quality starts on the team. does walk people though it is something now he will do his home run per nine is high er not the highest but it's up there his fib is also a free six five i think it's a big risk if you call up amos but i think i'm willing to take it and i'm gonna add amos to the 40 man roster and i'm gonna call him up Congratulations to DeAndre Amos. You're a big league player now. And we're also going to give Benny Montgomery the call. And we need one more. Do we throw McCade Brown? And just see what he has? I think we do. I think we're going to move up McCade Brown. Fill up our triple A roster. Oh, that's going to be exciting now. I think Goldberg's going to get the call up to play in the outfield. Michael Goldberg is going to get the call up to triple A. I believe he deserves it. I really want to call up Corey Chavez, but I just want to see him finish the season at double A and win the championship down there. Spoiler alert. And Michael Finney has struggled on both levels now. That's not a good sign. Do I call Adele Amador up? He's on a cold streak, but maybe I can see what Amador can do at triple A and... Give him some playing time. Second base and shortstop. I can move up Adele Amadora, and I think that's what I'll do. I think he's ready. How the hell Amadora? I always call him the wrong name, but that's fine. For this sake. Now Bruhan with his versatility can play a lot of positions and we can move him to center field if we have to. I think Michael Goldberg will play though. Howdy hell out of the door. We'll be our shortstop and you know what? Yeah. I like this even better. We can bring in Al Bruhan back to second base. 
That works really good. I don't know if I want out of hell to hit very high in the order. Just yet. I'll allow Michael Goldberg to have that privilege. Let's try to find our best lefty hitter and looks to be Dietrich. So we'll allow Dietrich to DH in this spot. Point eight six average for <laughs> Michael Goldbergs, or hopefully he can figure it out. <laughs> Let's just fix this before we continue. Out of how Amador is gone, so. Why is Corey, oh, that's no DH. Okay. To do a lot of thinking here and move to put. Know exactly what I'm gonna have to do, I just have to do this for the time being. We see Montgomery play over Toglia. With Montgomery to DH for sure. Montgomery are in his spot. Unfortunately, warning, Bernabeu has not earned his spot. We're going to let Everson Pereira hit second in the lineup with his success. Bernabeu is going to have to earn it again. McCarthy has been the man so far. What a win trade we've had here. I like how McCarthy's performed, and he's continued to get better, and I definitely am. Very happy with him. And Vaughn has increased his power by eight now. And man, I love to see that. I want to see Vaughn become a dynamic power Fred. And he could be a MVP candidate with that kind of stuff if he gets it.
Maybe we'll let Pereira hit first and allow Rise to get more RBI chances. Could always let Montgomery lead off and give you speed at the top. Now here, do I want to do anything special here? How is Rizzo doing? I've never seen that he hit. No, he still hasn't hit number 400 and he's hitting 257. If we make the postseason, Carroll would get called down. And maybe Newt Bar. how that looks, it looks pretty solid. Hope Vaughn finishes off the season strong. Now of course we gotta do the rotation and Gave up five as the last start. I'm going to take him out of the rotation for DeAndre Amos. Amos will be our fifth starter, and he will get us the very first career start soon. Very soon. And it's going to be a high leverage start. We got McCade Brown here in the bullpen as well. And heck, maybe Syndergaard could stick around as a reliever if he finishes the season well. I'm interested in keeping Josiah Gray in that reliever spot with his stamina going down. Um, I'd like for him to be better. He's just not working out yet, but he is a trade piece, if anything. Shimon Gilmore. Homer and per nine has been looking great, and his contract is going to look great in a couple of years when he develops into being a great overall player. And a lot of chit chat has gone on, and I think we need to get to playing soon. To maintain interest on this video, I need to make the call up for Russell Kang. He doesn't play a secondary, I might have to change that. Hide her, she looks very ready and now we looking at catcher. Got Cope down there in two twenty two. I think it's time for Daniel Cope to sit down at the single A and let Clyde Hirsch take over that role as the backup catcher in double A. Hirsch is the guy that we signed in the free agency and he had some promise, so he said, why not give him a try? It can't hurt. He's got more potential than Eddie Perez, unfortunately. And it might be a guy that works. Now with Kang, we're going to make it so Kang can be... Kang and Venezuela are going to have to be able to play more than one position. We'll have Venezuela play third and short. We'll probably play third. And Kang's going to have shortstop flexibility. Mm -hmm. 
This will help our lineup even out and work efficiently. Don't want to play Eddie Diaz, and I'm more interested in having Kang be there as an option. Oh, his bat get better. We'll allow Clayton Kershaw to pitch out of our triple-A. To finish off his great career, we wanted to call up Arturo Garcia. Well, we got to wait till we see next year. He's only 18, and let's see if his potential goes up some playing in the minors for a year or two, and maybe he'll be a guy for us. Um, it's... It's a risk either way. I just don't like his hits per nine. His strikeout per nine is very interesting. His home run per nine is scary. His pitch clutch is not the best. And he has to work on his velocity control and break more if he wants to be a major leaguer. I like Peralta as an option out of the bullpen. And do we have any... No options to get called up any here. Carter Price getting better. Short looking very good. We're going to move Short up as the number two starter. He's looked great so far and I like it. Let's hop into this game. I think Ethan Small is a left-handed pitcher, and I would mean Benny Montgomery has a chance to DH today. And let's go and and uh, let's actually look at some transactions. I know I'm very sorry. The Giants have called. There we go. Here's some not notifications. The Giants have called up Joey Bart. The Giants have called up Seth Corey. They bring up Alex Hood and Isaiah Kind of Clef. Clef. Isaiah kind of Falefa. Michael Bush makes his way up and Emmett Sheehan. Alec Thomas, a good player, and Rain Nelson, one of the better pitchers in the minor leagues. Harold Walls makes his way up for the Cardinals and Quinn Peaster back to the majors. Trupicio Mariciano. The Pirates call up their second base prospect and they also the Brewers call up Matt Brash. Elve Marte caught up from the Reds. The guy they got for Luis Castillo and Cam Carrieri. Brian Bello for the Cubs. Christopher Morrell. Keyboard Ruiz makes his way back up. And Marco Ornelas. Mickey Abel. And Grief McGarry. Tyrone Taylor. And Edward Cabrera. Tanner Boston makes his way up for the Braves. And Edward Olivares. Joe Barlow and Sam Avalos from the Mariners. And Darrow Hanais comes up for the Athletics. And Henry Bote. The Angels call up Jorge Soler and Drew Gilbert. The Astros did, I mean. The Astros call up Pedro Leon. The Twins call up Austin Martin. 
and Edroad Huyen. The Royals call up Caden Wallace. The Royals call up Gavin Cross. The Tigers have called up Colt Keith and Wilmer Flores. Oscar Gonzalez makes his way back up and Trevor Steffen. Scott Barlow and Jimmy Lambert. For the White Sox and Shane Bez for the Toronto Blue Jays along with Sean Chorijo. And Junior Camarino, Camarino. Makes his way up for Tampa Bay. Mitch Spence. Jason Dominguez back up. And Zach Plezak. And Jackson Holiday comes up for them. As you can see, we purchased the contract of DeAndre Amos and added him to the 40-man roster. And Let's hope it works out for us. Let's look at the top prospects in baseball before we start. And we have Eduardo Chavez here at number 44. And nothing really changing. Corey's still working his way up. And Corey Chavez finds his way at 80 power now and... Go. We want to see the power go up on the other side of the plate. Eduardo Chavez, his power improving. Let's get to baseball now. We've chatted a lot, and this is an important day for both organizations. We want to see a debut of a young fellow. We've grown. We haven't rushed Benny Montgomery as much as some would want. Here he is hit an eighth in his first career major league game. He makes it to the majors before Zach Veen. And Zach Veen had a great spring training. Benny Montgomery did not. But overall, he looks like a good kid. And if he might make an impact for us, and why not give him a try? He's playing along with Warming Bernabeu, a guy that made his way up. And maybe a little bit too soon. But Everson Pereira will lead off. We have some young talent up here. And... It's exciting to look at. Maybe we can rip off some wins here in September and do our job. We have the first career start of DeAndre Amos coming up soon. And we make that a special video where we'll just be included in this one. Let's see. We're at about an hour and 19 minutes. We'll see how long it takes this one to go. I don't know how much of this I'll play. I'll probably be playing some Benny Montgomery at-bats and some maybe warming Bernabos. But not much else. Wow, we're two games back at a wild card? Whoa. This game is important. San Diego is definitely having to slip away from them. Ethan Small is the pitcher. They don't even talk about Benny Montgomery's debut. This wild card race is very heated up, and knowing we're only two games back now, even after the struggles, it just makes every game even more Leading important. Leading off tonight. Tonight. Three. Three. Out. Three. You're out. 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 Warming Bernabel up six. in 224. Warming Bernabel. Ran out of options with Bernabel, and I don't know if we'd be able to sneak him through waivers. It's going to be tough, and I believe a team would claim him if we did, and I don't know if it's worth the risk. You know, we just decided to keep him on the bench and let him grow. Pops him up there, even small. He's came up huge in some moments this year, and he's helped us win games, but he's also came up very small in other moments. And here's another young hitter, Ezekiel Tavar. Three! You're out! Full four! Take your base! And here's the Major League debut of Benny Montgomery. Benny Montgomery. We got time! Can he get a hit in his first career at bat? That's a Inside, Ethan Small. Counts one and oh. 
I was gonna say he didn't play up here yet, did he? Up the middle, a base hit for Benny Montgomery, his first career major league hit in his first career appearance. Batting nine. Great the hitting from the young fella. Four. His Michael first career hit as a Tomia. DH. And he could help us down the stretch, be a good baseball team, and get that baseball into the manager. <laughs> it goes to Andrew Vaughn, and Andrew will keep that baseball safe for you, Benny. We wanted to be patient with Benny Montgomery. We wanted him to hit the baseball better before we called him up, but maybe he can figure it out up here in this last month of the year and win us over. Ball, that's outside. Here's Michael Tolgia. Ball, that's outside again. Just out. Two and oh. Puts it in play. He hits it hard, deep. Not hard enough, though. Ethan Small comes up with a catch. From his the right fielder, number eight, is Everson Pereira. Everson Pereira. One oh. Outside fastball. Small. Steal, runner. The runner goes. Oh. Montgomery safe. No, he's safe. His first career stolen base. <laughs> Didn't get the best jump, but he got up to speed and he provides speed to our team. Something that we have not had. Inside. One ball, two strikes. Maybe you try to bunt down the second base, the third baseline, and try to get him a third. You still have two him in balls, scoring position. Maybe strikes. you just don't have to waste an out here. Lisa Rise up next, and he can hit. Herrera strikes out, and now it's Pariah. Arise, not Pariah. The finding their names number together. Three, Luis Arias. A chance to give Benny Montgomery his first career run. Ball. Up and high. Taps it, and Arise cannot come through. Good effort there from Colorado, playing some small ball, stealing bases, and Three. playing a different kind of Ow. baseball than they're used to playing. That's ball four. Ball four, take your base. Bernabelle with the bases the loaded. Let's just third see if we can do Warming something this time. Bernabelle. Bernabelle, no good. Here's Tavar, why not try? I want the computer to hit into a double play and he doesn't get a hit. Now Benny Montgomery with the bases loaded and two outs. Here he comes. Can he be our savior? Benny Montgomery trying to be a spark, the 23-year-old. Swings at a bad one. Making his MLB debut, only his second plate appearance in the show. Taps it, and Montgomery not going to beat it out. Fielder's choice. Ooh, big spot there. Out, you're out. Out, three. He's out. Out, three. Out, you're out. Out. Out, out. He's out. 
And I'll try to get a hit with Montgomery again. See if we can get some magic. Small one, no strike. Small is not going to give us easy pitches to hit, and we got to be patient. Outside, as one soon ball, as we say strike. we got to be patient, we swing at a bad pitch. Just taps it to left field, and Benny's not going to get on base with that. Three! Three! Out! Ball four, take your base! Out! Out! Fucking Syndergaard, man. Three! Three! He's out! You're out! Out! Three! Top of the ninth, two outs, and Montgomery's last chance for us against Matt Brash, who just got called up the other today as well. Count oh, outside, and Brash has great stuff. I would love to have a Matt Brash on my team. I would know how to use him very well. Ooh. I did an Oakland franchise well before I started making videos on YouTube, and I had Matt Brash, and I liked him. He's a thrower. We're in the pitcher, but I'm very good with throwers. Pitching with throwers, I should say. And he struck out Benny Montgomery. Good pitching from Brash. Out. The Brewers win 5-1. to one. They spoil. The debut of Benny Montgomery. The rookie of the year last year, Ethan Small. Gets the win. The player of the game. We just have to keep, we have to watch Amos and make sure he doesn't get. 50 innings pitched. And let's go watch Ken Blyer and see if he can get the win. Or do we just sim? Now oh, let's just go in the game and find out. Definitely a different look triple A team and Maybe Adele Amadori can add some juice to this team. Just not a very good one. Express are looking a lot better than us right now, and maybe we can showcase something. Ow! Three! There's a way to make an impact. Here's a two run home run. Fighters, same stuff, Three. different game. Three. Out. You're out. It's out of that out. inning, He's out. Phased. That's ball four. He does walk that out. inning. You're out. Three. 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 Gets through that out. inning. Three. Three. Out. Out. He's out. Three. Big Boyer's actually Three. pitching good now. Out. Three. Three. You're out. 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 He's out. No, I'm going very Three. fast here. I'm just. I want to build the anxiety. A takeout player after eight, and he actually had a good game. We gave up two. And let's try to for swing the bat here the for first a minute with Robert Horgan. Robert Horgan. I'm King. And it, it, Horgan beat it out. It is not in out. time. He does not make it. The third baseman, number five. George. George Morales. Morales. Against the lefty. That's a ball. Morales is definitely going to be a double A guy next year. Just didn't want to call up Corey Chavez and Morales gets a hit there. He's going to be a competing with some guys down there. Now bad. Play time for play third base still. Tristan be my guess. Peters. Uh, 
Getting out of team mode. Oh, one's like down. I one love to call up some right guys uh, AAA now, and but with the season being how it is in AAA, it's kind of a loss. I want these guys to enjoy winning. You know, Ken Blair is a one different ball. guy. He's kind of Two's more straight. of a higher age, and I want to see more from him at his age, and just not looking to be ready for the moment yet. He still has time, though. Ow. Peters beats out the double play and keeps us alive. Del Bruhan. Can he hit a walk off here? Oh, go ahead, shot. We got the sinker come to in, and we missed that one. Good opportunity there. King. Oh, outside. Taps it, and he's out. Got the game him. is over the express win, as they usually do. And Blair does not have the worst game. Seven innings, two earned, a quality start. I don't think I'll send him down yet. We'll keep an eye on Blair to see if he still struggles, though. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with the lineup here. Oh, not the ODH lineup. Oh, man. Lord have mercy. You don't win that game for short. Gave up four earned, and, you know, he's going to have to learn. Still only 19. We have a lot of time short, and he's going to be a good pitch for us, I believe, in the future, or at least a trade piece. Knocking ourselves further back at the playoffs, and look at the standings. Two and a half games back. It's right there for the taking. We just need to win games, and... What do we want to do? What team do we want to be? Do we want to make the playoffs or not? And that's what it comes down to. I think we're going to see DeAndre Amos' first major league career game. And we're on a losing streak of a couple games. Yep. If we would just win some of these games or split the series, we'd almost be in the wild card. Let's go and see DeAndre Amos' first career start. Go out with the pinstripes. American Family Field. And whoa, why is Amos' energy so low? It's not going to be a long start with that kind of energy. Maybe I push Amos' start back one. I guess we'll just go out with Amos and try to get as many innings out of him as we can. Hopefully the bullpen won't blow it for him. It's not going to be a long. Well, we do have an innings limit on him anyway, so let's try to get through five innings. Hopefully he doesn't get a lot of foul balls and gets his pitches off. Hopefully we can get through them quick. This is one of the proudest moments in the series right here, allowing a player like DeAndre Amos to develop, and he's actually impressed me so much that I've Called him up at 20 years old, and it's going to take a special player to get called up this early, and they're showing the wild card again instead of DeAndre Amos making his debut. I think to keep the presentation the way I want to, I want to hit with my guys the first inning, just so we can see them talk about Amos. There's Adrian Hoser. Hauser? Not Hoser. <laughs> he could be if he strikes me out a lot, though.
leading off the afternoon for Colorado. It is right Brendan Panthers. Donovan. Brendan Donovan. That's a ball. Very high to Donovan. Hey. Strike two to Donovan, and he wanted to two wait, strikes. but Donovan couldn't hold back. Up the middle, Donovan. Can't beat it out. He's, He's out. too slow. Good hitting, though, to put it in play. Four pitch at bats. Ball, that's out. It's outside. Up the middle, right to the second baseman again. And it is back to back oh. plays for him there. Relative ease. Two of the slower players on the team. Grounding out into the infield. Here is Andrew Vaughn, who has 29 home runs so far this year. Surprise for me, I didn't think he would hit 31 home, 30 home runs. In a season, and that is shot to center field, and it's caught. A good try from Vaughn there, and we're not here to hit anymore. We just want to see the presentation for DeAndre Amos, one of our top prospects. In my opinion, my favorite pitching prospect right now. And I think he has a lot of potential to be great. A high strikeout guy, and definitely a guy that can be... A disgusting piece to this team that I'm trying to build. DeAndre Amos is the first player that I've drafted to make it to the show. Leading off. Very proud Bruce, moment. The center fielder. We took DeAndre Amos. We liked how he was a great velocity thrower and had a great high fastball potential. Ball, that's in. Starts off with a ball. Amos gets it sent far. Not how he wants to start his career. It almost hits a home run off of him. So close, Radford Wise. Sal Freelick. He wants to get one off the rookie. Hey! In there for a strike. What a pitch. One and one. Ah! One ball, two strikes. And that's some hard contact. 102 off the bat. Pretty good. He struck he out. Amos' first career punch out. And there it is. The first major league that strikeout for DeAndre the Amos. Catcher. And many more Will to come. Yeah. He's kind of stunned. And a great high fastball. Got him to go around. So he wanted it, and he got it. Looking at this Brewers scoreboard to see if they say something funny. That's ball and two. Now you want to start the at bat with Contreras. Hung it in the zone. Almost got the punch out. Contreras. Two and two. Sends it for a ride, and Toglia again has to catch it on the warning track. 
almost two home runs given up there, but they're both outs. Here is the toughest test so far in the young career. Roddy Teles up to plate against the rookie. All ones the count. Struck him out with a fastball, 97. Amos with the strikeout. That's a ball. <laughs> ball two. Hey. Hung the slider. Not his best pitch of the day. Ball, that's too high. Amos punches another one out. Oh, and one. Ball. Struck him out. Two great innings so far from the rookie. Ball four, take your base. Three, out. Here's Yelich, a former Leading MVP. For the Brewers, the left fielder, Christian Yelich. Nope. And hey, guy, Christian Yelich strikes on different than every other baseball player in the game. That is not a strike to Christian Yelich. Ball, that's high. I don't like this out at bat already. Aye. Oh, but that's a strike, huh? It's less of a strike than the first one. And he ah. almost gets a hit. Yelich. High yeah, fastball to Yelich. He's not going to go on that. Oh, well inside his first walk. Hey. Strike one inside. Good fastball there. I got one ball, one strike. Runner, runner! Hit and run, and Arias gets oh. the out. Good baseball play there, though. Almost a double play, but Yelich heads up baseball to get a base out of it. Hey. Up near Donovan tested. He makes the catch and a throw in there. Right for Rice, sent it for a ride the first at bat. Ball one, no strikes. Ball down. Rizzo. 
gets He's the out. out, and Amos gets for free innings. Unset and nowhere near. Oh, wow, ninety free speed. Yeah, that's dangerous. Oh, that's just out. Oh, right at Amos. He's not getting them. Hopefully Amos is okay. Hey! It's a strike on the veteran. Runner, runner, runner. That's out. Smith, no word. Not in time. <laughs> That's ball two. Two balls, one strike. Amos. It's his pitch sent far and deep, but it's foul. Hung it in. Oh, he just foul tipped it. Amos. Oh, he foul tipped it again. Contreras making the rookie work. Maybe he knows that he has no rest. Struck him out with the changeup. Amos doesn't need rest. Here's Togaz. And we might eat our words here now. Hangs it and he gets a strike. Oh, and Togaz just misses that one. Oh, that's upstairs. There's an offer. Over his head, and that's going to be the first Aaron run given up by Amos. Telez. Down oh, the middle. The Strike. No balls, two strikes. Two. Amos. The runner goes to third. Arise. Gets it off the bag, and that's it for DeAndre Amos, I think. I should get a double play ball. You're playing with fire here. And. Counts one and oh. Amos misses. This last batter he will see. Good ball, or bad. Let's make his debut special. Let's get a double play here. Ball, that's out. Oh, they just keep fouling him off, man. Struck him out, 94. Now batting, left Yelich. fielder, Christian. And I don't think Yelich should be pitched against. I'm putting Genesis Cabrera for my sanity. I'll take my chances. Your attention, please. Genesis. Now pitching for Colorado. Nope. Ball one. Number 92. Ball one, Genesis no strikes. Cabrera. And it was a great debut for Amos. If he had more stamina, he could have went a lot more. 
Strike one, one uh, Christian Yelich. Hungy, that's curveball there for Yelich. Two balls. That was an offer. Struck him out high fastball. They escape with, with little damage. What? Got us out at the plate? Come on, man. Three! Full four, take your base! Everson Pereira up. Number and eight. He's grounded out twice. Hitter. Hitter. Everson Pereira. Rare misses. Up the middle, Pereira. It's going to tie the game. What a hit from Cabrera, Pereira. Everson Pereira, the man we traded Yana Fendaza for, and he comes up super clutch. Now Anthony Rizzo can take the lead. Oh, just missed it. Rizzo playing his last days here in Colorado. He almost has 400 home runs. Four more to go to join the 400 home run club. It would be special for him to do it here. Not here, but in the Colorado uniform. Up the middle. Rizzo takes the lead with a single. Hoser gave up two singles back to back. Out will come Hoser. In will come Sonny Gray against Michael Tokyo. Sonny Gray. High fastball. Oh and one. Hey, working oh, cutter. Toglia down 0 2. Oh, his power left is 74 now. What is going on? One ball, two strikes. He's been jumping. Struck him out. Toglia goes down swinging. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, Three. please. He's now out. pitching for Ball the Rockies, the base. number 41, Riley, Riley. Pints. Anthony Rizzo back up with the runner in scoring position. Anthony Two runners against Rizzo. Sonny Gray. Intentionally walking Anthony Rizzo. Good strategy, and he's going to go to the next hitter. It's after Anthony. The Michael left fielder, Tokia. number four, Michael. Can he Tokia. come through with a knock? One zero. -oh. We just need a base hit, Michael. You could score two runs with a hit up the middle. They're not shifting either, so if you get a pass, Sonny Gray, you get two RBIs. And a cookie, and he might get more than a cookie. It's back. It's deep. It's out of here. Michael Toglia, Grand Salami. Deep center field, Michael Toglia. His 14th bomb of the year. And Jake McCarthy, he's happy. He's like, wow, Toglia got a home run? Unbelievable.
kind of my reaction too. Toglia, he has the power. Like a Rafa Franklin. Great hit there. Now pitching for the Brewers. Number 46. And Nar Uribe, and he is not that good. Abner. Abner and Uribe. And we are going to fast forward. Three. Full four. Take your base. You're out. Three. Three. Arai is a solo out. home run. Out. Now pitching for the Rockies. Three. Number 35. And the Rockies beat the Brewers 7-1. DeAndre Amos does not get the decision, but he pitches solid enough to only give up one run, and we dominated in Milwaukee today. Michael Toglia to Grand Slam. The final line score the player of the game. game this afternoon for the victorious Rockies. And it's not fair to give a grade on DeAndre Amos. He didn't get to pitch the full game, so... Just got to wait and see with Michael, with DeAndre Amos. How good can he be? Running out of double A games here. And before we end the episode, let's just go play the double A game real quick. I do want to look at team real quick. Will Smith has went back to a 90 overall, and that's one of the shock developers. I want to look at Michael Toglia, actually. That's his, man, his power went. What happened to his power? It's it's a lot now for, against left-handed pitchers. 74 now. It's went up 7. And up seven is Chavez's power. Love to see that. I just want to see his contact go over 70. Or his power right, I mean. Donovan, I know that he's just an 81. Thought he went up to an 81, but I might have been wrong. He has improved. He still has 77 potential, and he's at it. It's one of the reasons I considered calling him up, but... It's crazy that our best prospect is in AA right now, not in AAA. I'd like to see Zach Fien be an 80 right now. I don't know what's holding Zach Fien back, but... Maybe we, with his struggle, we can get him some left-handed at-bats. Just to get him some more at-bats. If it hurts his average, it hurts his average. Let's let Zach Fien get a little bit better here in these last couple games. Maybe he can do something. This series against the San Diego Padres is very vital, and I think that's where our next episode will begin. We will play both of the series against the Padres. Kind of the same similarities of these episodes lately of quick simming and popping into certain situations and Seeing where that takes us, where we at in the standings. We're two games back, and now the Pirates have taken that spot. But winning against the Padres will help either way. And we haven't been able to beat the teams in our division, and these games matter more than any so far. Let's look at Everson Pereira, actually, you know, and think about it. How is Pereira? He's 73 now. Pereira is definitely improving. Slowly but surely. I think we might have got a steal from the Yankees here. Pereira has definitely performed at a high level so far in his career. With us, the altitude is helping him. and Maybe he just wasn't a good fit for Yankee Stadium, but he fits in right here. He almost has as many hits as he did in 2024. And 
Randy Montgomery only had the, the one at couple at bats. Andre Amos, a two four five ERA and six Ks and three point two innings. We'll get him some more next time. When's his next start? Is it against San Diego? Oh, it's gonna be against the Kansas City Royals, was a team we can't sleep on though. And I love chit chatting. Let's get into another game. You know, the past couple of days I haven't really been excited because of losing, but this has made me a little bit more into the game, and I'm definitely happy with how everything's gone. Let's give a new look. Our new look team a look. Still some familiar faces here, and they all hit very well, and Gabriel Gonzalez has been the surprise here in the last couple weeks here in the minor leagues. I like how Gonzalez has played from the trade from Pittsburgh, and that's one that might hurt him in the future. He needed Reese Hoskins, and that might help him keep us out of the playoffs by having a guy like Hoskins, but we got some good prospects in return. They paid a price. So far, both of the prospects we got back look pretty good. Ow! You're out! Oh, I did not want to... Okay. Full four, take your base. He's out. Ow. 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 Three. He's out. Three. Let's just send through the first out. set of at bats and then go from. Wow. Russell King said, I'm back in double A, and he knocks one out of the park. Henry Reyes. Ow. Ground out and. Eduardo Chavez is one for one. Let's see if we can get another one with Chavez. Reyes has some nasty stuff. Ooh, he's a thrower, but that's a strike. Ooh, and Chavez says, here's my power. Into the gap and to the wall, and Chavez... A double. And here comes the other Chavez. It's Corey Chavez with a runner in scoring position now against Henry Reyes. Strike one to Henry. One strike. From Henry. 279 is Corey Chavez. He's down to a 78 right now. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, he was a 78. I don't know what I'm thinking. Up in the air. Back. Deep. To the wall. And Chavez is going to tag up. We're going to assess the speed. He's in there. He's safe. Now batting. Center fielder. Paul. Here's Paul Schultz. Schultz. A consistent piece in our lineup the past two years in the double A. Well behind him. Chavez is not going to test him. Not that kind of speed to test that kind of play there. Slider, oh, splitter away, good pitch on Paul Schultz. Away, and they pitch Schultz away every time, not that bad. Let's see if we can get a strikeout against one of the top Mets players right now, Luis Kepineras. Bunt it. Foul, foul, foul. Nowhere near where it needed to be. A left-hander is Thomas Snyder. Learning that on the fly. Not thinking right now. Padres. Kepineras. <laughs> Now batting. Who knows? Let's sim ahead now. He 
safe. Ow. Three. That's ball four. Three. Let's play a half bat now with batting. Geraldo Third baseman. Valenzuela. Geraldo. Valenzuela. 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 And this is why I love Valenzuela. I found him in the free agency, and he hit it all the way to the wall. It was close to being a home run. He is a good hitter at his age, and he provides something the that we can build on and develop. And I Eddie think Valenzuela Perez. will be a piece that I keep down here and try to develop into something one day. No ball. He just one comes. Strike. He'll be like an injury replacement kind of guy, like the 27th man. If I need a guy to come up and hit, I'll bring up Valenzuela. I think his hitting is very valuable, and he could provide something in the future for us if he just continues to stay healthy and work on his hitting. Oh, and that's super away, Henry Reyes. Not giving much to Eddie Perez. Down the middle, Perez just misses that one. Oh, and that is right down Broadway again, 98. This is the Mets team, though. It is the Rumber Ponies, so it is the Mets. He's out. You're out. Ball four. Take your base. Grand slam given up by out. Thomas Snyder. That hit him. First base. A triple by Orlando Anias. Onegas. He hits a man home, and Eduardo Chavez with a runner in scoring position with no outs. Let's go and... I think we're all good now. And that's not the best, but he does get the RBI. You're out. Not the best plate appearance, though. Makes the game a one run game. Now, Corey Chavez. High fastball one. from Henry Reyes. Well one outside. Ball. Ball. Again, it's outside to Corey. Down low. And here's Chavez, as we will always say, the number one prospect in baseball. Tilly isn't anymore, and up in the air, it is caught. He sends two balls to the outfield, just not good enough. Three. Your attention, Four. Four. please. Take your base. Now Out. pitching for the yard goes. Number out. 18, Three. Charlie. Out. Out. Now out. pitching for Binghamton. Binghamton. Number 33, Tom Martinez. Martinez. Now Corey Chavez up Binghamton. again. Number this time he has his Alex friend Eduardo Chavez. Young. He's 0 for 6 in the series. He's going against a left-hander now. This is where he specializes against. Oh, a good pitch to hit there. He just misses it. Here's Chavez. Chavez up in the air. Thought about it, Chavez. Great discipline there. Fouls it off. A 
twelve six curve. And it is a fair ball. Corey Chavez a single to tie the game. And they stayed in it, and here's Paul Schultz all for free. A double for Schultz. It is actually a single. Ch Chavez is going to stay at second. Here comes the five hitter. David Park. And what a situation for Park against a lefty. He loves hitting lefties. Up in the air and Park does not come through there. And that's unfortunate. Gabriel Gonzalez. Oh, and one. Gabe Gonzalez to come through here with two big, with two people on base with one out. Need a hit in the gap. Oh, and that was a good pitch to hit there. Struck him out. Gonzalez goes down, but we have Gerardo Valenzuela. A very good hitter, especially against lefties. Strike one. No ball. Chasing. Valenzuela. No Two strikes. Cannot seem to lay off the bad pitches. Struck out Valenzuela, and that's not the way that we want to finish the seventh. He's out. He's out. You're out. Three. Out. Out. Three. Out. Three. He's out. Three. And that yard goats went off a walk off of Paul Schultz. Eduardo Chavez, the player of the game, and Ship Finley with a win. The Ragsdale gets a loss. What a beard. <laughs> Simulate that, and we do get the win. Let's look at the box score. Zach Veen, a couple hits. And Abdel Amador getting some hits down at AAA. He's definitely doing pretty good. Victor Chavez gives up another earned run. Not happy with that. And the next episode will end a rubber match between two bottom teams now. And one more time, let's look at the standings. Ooh. Two games back of a wild card. And we definitely can make some noise. Who would the number one seed be in the NL? It is the Atlanta Braves. Mariners are going to be the team to beat, though. The Mariners are on pace to win 100 games, and they're going to be very good. They are definitely the best team in baseball, and they've lived up to that hype all year. Have not seemed to settle down any bit. But can we squeak into the playoffs? It's close, and we have a chance. We're going to find out soon. Next episode should be fun against San Diego. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and let me know who you're excited to see in the future of this team. We have Zach Veen and Adele Amador. A lot of other fun people like Arturo Garcia and Ken Blair if he ever figures it out. 
They also have guys like Corey Chavez and Eduardo Chavez and Victor Chavez. And then next year, our number first round draft pick, Diego Chavez. But anyway, all fun and games. Have a good day, everyone.